हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द रेड हैड एंटरप्राइज लाइन एच सिक्स सिस्टम एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन कंफिग्रेशन एंड सिस्टम सिक्योरिटी कोर्सवेयर माय सिंह दिस कोर्सवेयर जस्ट बिकॉज मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स माय जूनियर्स एंड माय कलीग्स हैव आस्क्ड मी हाउ टू लर्न लिनक्स एंड दे वांटेड सम गाइडलाइंस एंड ऑल सो आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू हेल्प देम आउट बाय making this video tutorials and starting with this course where i am going to teach them the the linux and uh, help them in going through this red hat enterprise linux 6 so first of all we have to see about red hat and one thing to note uh, after each and every videos i would like your reviews and comments so that uh, i can improve upon my flaws as this is the first time i am making it it is the it is my it is a first initiative from my side so obviously there would have there would be some mistakes or flaws so so that i can make some improvements in the later videos and can provide you with a good videos so first we will see something about the red hat uh, what is red hat So Red Hat is basically not more than a software comp. It is it is a software company, and it is more than the software company. It's actually the bridge between the communities that create the open source software and enterprise customers who uses it. What does it means? It means like as you know, Linux Red Hat is an operating system that is open source. Open source means the source code and uh, and is publicly accessible and anyone. can make changes to it can customize it means the open source community keeps on making some customizations keeps on researching over it and creating a more efficient codes and uh, adding features and removing certain features so it's basically a software that is produced by the open source community and that has been branded with the by by the red hat it has been tested it has been gone through the multiple phases of testing and then it has been introduced for the enterprise customers so red hat linux is based upon the code that is developed by the open source community which is often first packaged through the red hat sponsored freely available fedora distribution so fedora distribution is the freely available red hat distribution and any and it you may uh, see the fedora project as testing project or the beta phase what do you say so whatever developments are made they are first introduced into the fedora they are used by the people they are tested by it the bugs are fixed and then it it is finally introduced into the enterprise customer level product red hat adds a performance enhancement intensive which are produced by the top independent software and hardware vendors now red hat introduces various courses on its products there are so many products around of the red hat if you go on their website and see the list of the projects or products it, that includes red hat enterprise linux for the servers red hat enterprise linux for ibm power and ibm z systems red hat enterprise linux for desktops and red hat enterprise linux for hpc head nodes and many many products are still out there that i uh, that i haven't mentioned here so these all are uh, products and red hat gives certifications over that products certifications so uh, now if within this courseware what uh, i have divided it into a two part first is a basic topic coverage and second is a advanced topic coverage so the basic topic coverage include involves the installation of the red hat enterprise linux servers that is the different ways how you can install the servers and hardware required and all that then it is a boot process of the linux system and the file system means how the linux system boots up into it see what i am going to do is i am going to take it from the zero level or from the ground level and then we'll advance the level simultaneously of uh, uh, videos after videos then it is introduction to the command line interface red hat linux networking and package management user administration file system permissions linux kernel services and configuration and introduction to the basic servers so this is the total courseware that will be i will cover in the basic topic coverage 
advanced topic coverage includes the Red Hat server securities, server configurations, that includes SSH, FTP, DHCP server, NFS server, Apache server, Sama server. These are all the advanced level servers and we will discuss each and every server in complete detail bit by bit and taking from zero level to the advanced level involving security of the server not even I means not only configuring but also how to securely configure it and then DNS server, NTP server, SMTP server basically the, that is the mail server then SC Linux concept and implementation Linux network storages and the troubleshooting of the Red Hat Linux server so all the topics will be discussed in complete detail with the point of view of the Red Hat exam and certification that so that after doing that course you can give those exams and uh, get yourself certified and increase your professional efficiencies and uh, to just to mention uh, and tell you guys I did my certification in uh, 2012 Feb so I just uh, wanted to help you guys and all the guys out there who want to learn Linux and uh, be at make it as the part of their professional career now the lab setup that i would use is preferably vmware workstation 8 or you or whatever you can use virtual box also and then red hat enterprise linux 6 iso image then the host machine can be either windows linux or mac sorry i just forgot to mention here then now just let me uh, brief you about red hat exam so about Red Hat exam, there are two exams that provides you the certification on the administration part that is first is RHC SA that is known as Red Hat Certified System Administrator or, ad, or Administration and this is the certification that involves the basic server configuration and uh, file systems and package management and lots of stuff that covers that I uh, would going to cover in the basic one the basic uh, course web part means the means these are topics installation however installation is not the part of the uh, of the exam but uh, you should have a good idea about installation then boot process understanding of the file system this is very important topic as compared to R uh, as the if we consider about RHCS and RHC then you should be very very well familiar with the with the command line interface because everything that you would perform here on the Linux is through a terminal we want to keep the GUI interaction as, as minimal and Red Hat Linux networking networking is again a very important concept that you have to understand then Red Hat package management instead is installing and configuring of, of the packages and user administration and file system permission is one of the most important topics of RHC SA exam and uh, there are and you might be asked to perform various such uh, tasks that may require the administration and file system permission part then the introduction to the basic servers you may be you may be asked to configure those servers and all that stuff so uh, then after the after RHC SA exam then we come to RHC exam RHC exam is known as Red Hat certified engineer and for the for this RHC exam for obtaining the certificate of RHC exam you need to have that RHC SA qualified and certified then only the Red Hat gives you RHC E exam uh, RHC E certificate sorry however if it happens you do not uh, pass or clear in RHC SA and you are cleared in RHC E exam then uh, Red Hat would detain your RHC E certificate and till you don't clear your RHC SA exam then RHC SA is a first level and prerequisite of obtaining RHC certificate is RHC SA certificate so certification entitles any individual to work as a Linux system administrator in the company and as a trainer in corporate so this is the end of the introduction so and again I am going to start this course here so I hope many of you guys will be profited with it so and please do not forget to leave your comments behind because that will encourage me to create more videos and uh, to improve my videos every way
एवरी टाइम थैंक यू